Yo, what is going on guys? Today, I've got another tutorial for you, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3D scene, something looking a little bit like this. So, this was made with a few simple plugins. I've used Element 3D, uh, to create the 3D objects that you'll see in this scene. You can also use 2D objects, however, if you use 2D objects it may not look as realistic or photorealistic as the one I've just shown you. It may look a little different, but today I'm going to be showing you the 3D method of how to do this, and yeah, let's get started. So you're going to want to start off by creating a composition. Boom and you will want to check that all of the settings are correct uh, I'm going to be making mine in 1080p so mine is going to be 1920 by 1080 you want to always have it in 16 by 9 if you're making for widescreen and next you want to check the frame rate 25 is the universal frame rate for Hollywood feature films and stuff like that and duration so I only want mine to be about I'll put it out for about 10 seconds just so we've got a little bit of room to work with. So I'm going to call this composition, uh, we'll call it tutorial. Okay, so now we've got this blank one. I'm just going to turn this black because I hate the checkers. Okay, so we're firstly going to start off. We're going to create the scene first of all, and then in the next part I will show you how to do all of the, the camera movement, the, compo the compositing, and so on. So we're going to call this, el this layer element. And after we've created this, we're going to want to add on our plugin, which is Element 3D. If you do want this plugin, uh, you can buy this from videocopilot.net. Uh, I think it should be about 100, 200 maybe, which is quite expensive, but for plugins, not really. So, I'm going to go into the scene setup. <coughs> okay, and uh, once we're here, so I'm going to be creating one just randomly. So, we're going to start off with what should we make today? Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Let's have, say, we'd like a roulette wheel, because that looks quite nice. Okay, so we just want to click OK after we've added that in. Make sure it's group one. So now we've got a group wheel. And do you know what? Actually, I'm going to go back into scene setup quickly and just add on a plane. So that means that we're now going to be adding on a floor. So you can add create and do that, or you can come to, I'm pretty sure, V1 models, which you may not have depending on which element you have, and then plane. So I'm going to go to create, plane, and then I'm going to drag this to the bottom. This is not out of the group, this is still in the group one folder, which means that everything in this will be group one. So in this, I'm just going to quickly, if you click using the left mouse, you're allowed to look around. If you use middle mouse, click that in, it allows you to look around like that. And if you click right mouse, it, just, it does right mouse. So when it comes to this plane model, and I'm just going to simply drag this out in size. So if you come down here to scale, just drag that out. And obviously we want this to be like on the bottom of that. So if we click the roulette wheel, we could then use the green arrow here and the Y axis to then drag it up. There you go. So then you want to click OK. And today we're going to be using a After Effects camera. So personally, I usually use a 35, but I've been going for an 85 recently. Um, okay, so we've now got a camera. So if you come up to over here, these are all of your camera tools. So if you want to click the orbit camera tool, you can then look simply around the object. If you use, sorry, I just used the hotkey there. If you use either one of these it will help you to look around. If you use the track XY it will allow you to look around. 
and then if you use the Z tool this will move you in and out of the Z axis or the Z axis so you can do that so I'm going to quickly the plane was only for demonstration purposes so I'm going to delete this plane model so we're going to add on like I said this is just for the purpose of the video so actually I'm going to delete this quickly I'm going to add on a I'm going to add on a roulette table just as this may be a bit better so this is basically this tutorial is going to be showing you how to create your scene so I've just shown you how to use some of the camera movements just basic so you can create your scene so I'm going to create maybe a maybe I'm going to come a little bit closer and I'm going to add a what should we add on Ooh. let's add a couple of stools just around the outside so we've still got this all in group one and to move the bar stool you just drag this out and obviously this is a little bit too big so we're just going to size it down so it looks a little bit more realistic so I just want to line this up with this just so it looks like it's actually on the floor so we'll just say around there that'll do so say that's only one you want a couple more just right click duplicate the model and then you can bring them over there we go so we've got three bar stools on that side all evenly spaced out then if you highlight all of them duplicate the models and then you can turn these a whole 180 degrees Uh, drag them to this side. I don't believe I have turned them on 80 degrees. There we go. So now I've got some bar stools all around. So if we click OK, we will now have some bar stools and that. And uh, we've still got our camera here, so we can go around it, look around the scene if we want. You can come a little closer up. So if you want to get on the action. And I'm just going to quickly add on a few a few more things. Obviously, the more details you have in your scene, the more believable they're going to look. And one of the most important things in visual effects is having a photoreal scene. So, like I said before, I'm just going to add on a plane model. This is basically just going to be the floor. So, I'm going to drag this down to the bottom of this. And I'm going to scale this up quite a bit. It's going to be a big floor. So as you can see, the uh, bar stools do not match up with the. So can I keep that here? The bar stools do not match up with this. So all I'm going to do is just highlight all of the bar stools, holding the shift button and clicking all of them, and just drag this up. So now these are looking pretty good in line. So we've now got our scene. So um, you can also add on if you have any materials. Uh, I'm going to use a pro shaders pack, so we're sitting. I'd say this is inside. Maybe they have carpet. I'm just going to add on this, and obviously that looks a little bit silly. Actually, we'll look for something a bit better. So in a casino based scene, it might be maybe black, maybe leather. No. Okay, well we'll just say it's leather for now. So if you click the plane model, and you scroll down, it may not look the. Uh, the highest of quality but if you have a seamless texture like this you can also repeat the UV which is basically the texture that goes over this so if you come over and maybe I want it to be 5 and 5 it now looks a lot more detailed but I always like to have mine at very high detail so I'm going to add that to 10 for both and there we go so if we come down low to this you see it that is looking pretty detailed. So now we've got our scene, we've got our floor. You can also add in maybe some walls, uh, whatever you'd like to add on the sides, but for now I'm not going to add anything onto there. I'm going to add a few things onto the table. So I'm going to add maybe some car keys. So these car keys are obviously far too big. I've just took these out of the group folder. So anything you take out of the group folder will mess with the other group so if you want to bring it out make sure you change it to group 2 and you can edit it separately 
but I want to put everything into the same scene today as I'm not going to be making any uh, dynamic movements, uh, this is purely going to be static. So for this I'm going to scale these down to what would be seen as a normal size for car keys. So maybe a little bit bigger than that. About that. And then we're just going to simply place these on the scene. There we go, we've got some car keys on the side. Yeah, maybe we can uh, rotate these, make them look a little bit more realistic. So we've got car keys there. I don't know, maybe I'll add on... Uh, let's add on a couple chips. So I'm going to add on some red chips. So we've now got a big red chip. I'm going to want to scale that down again, make everything look very realistic. So we've got chips. There we go. So we're going to drag this over here, we'll just have a little stack of them. So what I'm going to do here is we've got our chip, I'm just going to duplicate this model and maybe drag a couple of these on top of each other. And once you've got a couple, you can duplicate all of these and then duplicate, there you go. Now we've got a little stack of chips. Uh, perhaps if we want to have some more chips just sitting on the side, you can duplicate these. Put that to the side. Then you can you can even duplicate them again. Bring them up a bit higher. And now we've got a stack of chips. Uh, usually I would not be this messy, so uh, if we add a folder, we'll call this you can right click, rename, we'll call this chips, we will call this chips, there we go. So all I'm going to do is just click all of these by holding the shift key, oh. I'm pretty sure there'll be a quicker way to do this but for the sake of this tutorial I'll just do it this way, so you just drag these into the chips folder, this is what I've done. And then all these bar stools. So we'll call this, we'll rename this to be table. I'm just gonna put it in capitals just so it stands out. And the bar stools, I'm gonna make another folder for them. We'll call them stools. Okay, so there we go. We've got our chips, we've got our stools. We've got some car keys on the table, and perhaps we'll even add a briefcase. Oh, briefcase? <laughs> yeah, briefcase. Yes, it's a briefcase. Oh, briefcase! Obviously that is much too big, so we want to have that in the normal group folder. So the open briefcase, I want to scale this down. Drag this up, so this is going to be the size of a briefcase, which we're usually about about that size. So I'm going to drag this over to perhaps this side of the table. Just uh, no, I'll drag this over to this side. So I'll put this on the table. There we go. That does look like it's on the table again. Just rotate it because obviously nothing's going to be like perfectly straight. There we go, and then just to make it, like I said, the detail really does play into it. I'm going to put a stack of, I can't tell, we'll just put a stack in there. So this is obviously much too big again, just drag it down, bring this up. So that is obviously far too big, I wish my stacks were that big. Maybe we'll drag it to the side, just so it looks like it's uh, being bet. And you know what, maybe we'll put one leaning up against the others. So we'll have this. And it doesn't actually look like this all the time, guys. It's because I'm on draft textures. If I turn this off, you'll see it suddenly becomes a lot more detailed. Okay, there we go. However, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it off draft textures. So there we go. 
So I'm going to drag this up and maybe I'm going to rotate it just so it looks like it's uh, on top of the money. There we go. Perhaps I'll even rotate it around a little bit. There we go. Let's drag that over. Doesn't have to be too perfect as long as it's looking somewhat believable. So we've now got our scene. So I'm going to leave it at that for this part, guys. I will catch you in the next part to show you a little bit about the camera. Hey, baby, what do you mean? What I'm thinking is obscene.